I have a, a long list of questions for the both of you here. We will alternate which one answers first, but then uh, your opponent will have a chance to respond after your answer. Uh, what steps will you take to maximize patrol coverage and ensure the greatest number of deputies are available on the streets at any given time to respond to calls for assistance? Great question. Um, I have a re-engineering plan that uh, I'm going to institute with the sheriff's office. NASA does it, Apple does it, and so will the sheriff's office. As part of that strategy, I'll implement an enho enhanced patrol unit that's based on data-driven decisions. It's going to be based on command influence. It's going to be based on citizen involvement. Part of that plan is going to be putting four additional detectives on the street that'll make up a additional nine hours of coverage. And part of that strategy will be these detectives will be in unmarked cars and in plain clothes. They'll be conducting investigations in addition to their caseload as far as working on armed robbery details, r burglary details. And these will be additional eyes and ears on the street to supplement our patrol. Now, when those detectives are on the street, Jim, that's going to allow for a quicker response. They're already beyond the uh, uh, available and have access to uh, calls for service without having to be called out. So that's going to increase the, um, not only increase the uh, response time, but it's going to increase the investigation capacity for the sheriff's office. So once those investigators are in the, in the, on the street, in the field, uh, working, uh, in addition to that, it's going to reduce overtime costs because they're not going to be having to be called in. I, I'm going to stop you mm -hmm. here if you don't mind. I want to make sure we've got time for a response and to get as many questions in as we can. So, sure. as far, I'd like to have you uh, uh, respond to that. Sure. Thanks, Jim. You know, that's one of the things I've talked about throughout this campaign. One of the initiatives is the direct patrols. Uh, early in the campaign, when I was out in the community, the rural community, the farmers and uh, small towns, that's one of their biggest concerns was they don't see a squad car often enough. So I thought of an idea of direct patrols. And what that is, is right now, uh, normally we work with five or six deputies on the shift at one time. And we have four, four basic districts that we cover. Well, two of those is what we call East County and West County. And they're very large districts. Uh, for example, if the deputy is assigned to West County, his area or her area of patrol is anywhere from Divern to Williamsville and out towards Pleasant Plains and everything in between. Uh, East County, same boundaries except to or towards Iliopolis and everything in between. So the idea is that the, with working with the shift commanders is broke the, break those down into smaller districts or zones. And so when a, a day shift supervisor assigns by to West County or a deputy to West County, they can say, we want you in West County, but we want you in zone one from eight to 11. Uh, so it, it just adds more accountability. It gets the deputy out in that particular area during that time frame. So then when the second shift supervisor comes in, he can look at the day shift schedule and say, okay, you had your West County uh, deputy in zone one. I'm going to put ours in zone three, uh, you know, for four to seven. You know, just kind of it makes sure that we're moving deputies around in certain areas. Now, after that time frame, they're free to roam the rest of the, the district so they can be seen in other areas, but at least it moves them around. And it's also good for the deputy, uh, you know, it gets them out in areas that they may not get to very much. So when they have to respond, respond to a call for service, they're more familiar with the area. You know, I, I disagree about putting the four detectives uh, back on the on the street. Uh, the sheriff's office used to have 16 detectives and, in 2009, and we currently have 10. They're most effective during daytime hours where they can do investigations, and I don't think it's going to reduce overtime. Uh, quite honestly, detectives go to court more often than deputies, so if, if we're not paying them, they're not, they're not making that much overtime coming out on calls for service anyway after, after hours. Uh, we're going to be paying to go to court. Each shift has a minimum of two to three ID technicians, crime scene technicians, and they're trained into processing scenes, collecting evidence. And all deputies are trained in how to conduct the initial investigation and then follow it as far as they can and then prepare the reports and send it to the detective bureau for follow-up. 